Hi, this is Monica. Welcome back to my channel, Suds and Bees. In today's video, I will be testing two waxes. Uh, one, I'm going to be testing 464 on its own, and I will be adding 10% fragrance oil. On the other container, I will be testing 6006, as I will also be adding 10% fragrance oil. And on the third container, I will be adding a blend of 30% 464 and 70% 6006 with a 10% fragrance oil. The containers I'm using today are the Wee Yogurt uh, containers. Um, I buy a lot of these yogurts and I really like these containers because they are small. Uh, they can uh, hold up up to 3.7 ounces of wax. So I figured these are really cute for gifts. So I want to test um, the best uh, the best cold and hot throw on these containers. Uh, this is what they look like when you remove the labeling. So they're actually really cute. And they're a good size so you don't have to use up all your wax. For the wicks, I am using CD7 wicks, six inches tall. Uh, this is what's recommended by Lone Star for these waxes in this container. I have not tested this wix before, but I didn't want to um, include too many variables while I'm testing um, the scent thrill for these candles. For the scent, I will be using the exact um, same fragrance oil so we can keep it uniformed and do an, um, a fair test. I will be using Bay Breeze Type by Lone Star. Uh, and like I said, I will be using it at 10%. So I'm gonna go ahead and melt the wax, let them set. Um, I will let them sit for about a week and then we'll begin testing. Okay, so it's been about a week since I poured the wax. Uh, here we have 6006 with 10% fragrance oil. A blend of 30% 464 and 70% 6006, 10% fragrance oil. And 464, 10% fragrance oil. Uh, what I learned during the pouring was that the ones that contained 6006 uh, did create uh, holes on top and the one that um, is just 464 um, set up very nicely. Uh, they all have a nice um, they all have a nice cold throw. I do find that the 464 has a stronger um, cold throw. I did add the fragrance to all of them at 180 degrees and I poured all of them at 160 degrees. So I will go ahead and start burning them and provide updates. Okay, so here's the 6006. It's been burning for one hour. Uh, it's burning nice and even, so I do like the CD7. Uh, you can see a little bit right there where it's not burnt off, but um, it's not leaving any dark marks around the container. Uh, you can smell it throughout the room. It's right now it's sitting in a kitchen. So this is after one hour. Okay, let's go look at the 464. So here we have the 464, this one's sitting in my bathroom. Uh, it's burning pretty even, um, just the edges right here. Uh, but it only has been burning for one hour and I can smell it in the bathroom. Um, I think this wick is doing pretty well, but we'll find out more in about four hours. I actually smell this one a little bit stronger than the 6006 so I think it's giving me a better hot throw so now let's go look at the blend okay here we have the 30% 464 and 70% 6006 
this one is not burning as evenly as I would want it to be. Uh, maybe this wig should be a little bit bigger. Uh, we'll find out more in a couple hours. It does have a very strong hot throw, so I'm very happy with that. Um, I think it's the paraffin for coming from both different waxes. So I'll come back in four hours. Okay, so it's been about, I want to say six hours. Uh, here's the 6006. Um, as you can see, it's burning very clean. Uh, there's no puddles. I really like the way this wax is burning with the CD7 wick. And the hot throw is pretty strong. Um, the scandals is in a pretty big room right now. It's in the kitchen. Um, I don't smell it that much when I'm inside the house, but if I walk outside and I come back in, I can really, really smell the scent. I think I'm just used to it when you're inside the house. So I'm very happy with it. There's no dark spots around the container. Uh, all three candles melted about the same rate, so so all candles will last for quite a while. They're all melted about the same rate. Okay, here we have the 464, um, six hours later. You can see that it's burning pretty clean. It does leave a little bit on the container but not enough to use a bigger wick. I would still use uh, CD7 on this using the 464. The hot throw on the 464 is pretty strong but I am in a slightly smaller room which is the restroom in my house. But um, I can really smell it as soon as I walk into the bedroom. So, so far I'm pretty happy with both waxes on their own. Uh, this one is, this one does have a stronger um, hot throw than the 6006. Okay, let's go look at the blend. Okay, and here we have the 30% 464, 70% 6006 blend. Uh, let's look at the top. Uh, it is burning pretty clean. Um, you can see more of the residue on the wall of the container like we saw on the 464. But um, overall, I still would not put a bigger wig. I think I would stick to the CD7. The hot throw uh, is pretty strong. You know, I have to say that well, this one has a very strong scent. I'm getting a stronger scent from just the 464 on its own. Um, slightly, not a huge difference. Um, so I have to say there's not a huge difference between all three. Uh, overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy with all three of the tests. Okay, so here we have the 6006. Um, I did put them out two days ago and lit them again today. So this has been burning for about five hours uh, for the second day, even though it was two days ago. Um, the wax is still melted pretty clean. Uh, the cold throw when I put them out was um, nice and strong. And the hot throw is still pretty strong with the 6006. Okay, here we have the 464. Again, this is uh, two days later after putting it on and turning and uh, lighting it up again. Uh, the wax has been melting very clean. If you the wax has been melting very clean, if you can remember 
a couple of days ago when I first lit it, uh, it was leaving some of the wax on the jar, but that has now melted. Uh, the center was still pretty strong. The coulter was pretty strong too after I put it out. Uh, they're all melting about the same rate. Okay, so let's go look at the blend. Okay, and here we have the 30% 464 and 70% 6006 blend. Um, also has been burning for about five hours. And you can see this one. It's leaving just a tiny bit on the wall of the jar, but it is burning very clean. I have to say the hot throw was very strong on this one. I think this is the strongest one. Not by much, but it's still a lot stronger. I uh, also had a very strong uh, cold throw when I put it out. Okay, so for the conclusion, uh, we, bit, we burned all three candles on two separate days for several hours. Um, like I said earlier, when I first poured the wax, the ones that had 6006 in them did show some holes after setting, so I had to grab my heat gun um, to remelt the top and fix it. Uh, the 464 uh, was an easy pour. Um, it did not demonstrate any holes. And the cold throw for all three of them was very strong. The secret is to make sure that you add your fragrance oil at 180 degrees. Do not follow the flash point of the fragrance oil um, as nothing will happen. Um, I learned this from Stanley, from Stanley's Candles. I'll link uh, to his video where he talks about this. Uh, so don't follow the flash point for the fragrance oil and always pour it at the recommended uh, temperature for the wax, which these were 180 degrees. So they all had a good, uh, strong uh, cold throw. As for the hot throw, it was pretty similar. There wasn't such a big difference, but I do have to say that the strongest one was the blend with the 30% 464, 70% 6006. Um, it was slightly stronger than these. Uh, the difference is not that much where you have to go out and spend money and buy both types of waxes. Um, you can use either one. Just make sure that you're adding the fragrance at the right temperature. Uh, for the wick for this container, the CD7 was very adequate uh, for the 464. I don't know if you can see. It did leave just a little bit of wax on the container, but it's not too significant. Same as for the C6006, it left just a little tiny bit. Again, it's not significant enough where I would add a different or a bigger wick. I think the CD7 is perfect size for this one. And for the blend, um, it burned uh, very clean. Didn't leave anything at all. So what is my recommendation? Go with whatever wax you want. Uh, it really doesn't matter. Just make sure that you pour 180 degrees. Uh, for the Wee yogurt containers, make sure that you use a CD7 uh, wick. And 10% of the fragrance was enough. I would not go any lower depending on the fragrance that you're using and the strength of it. I think 10% is usually my standard practice for candles. So there we go. Thank you for watching. See you next time.